Viral Markers of Hepatitis B Virus Today, I'll be talking about an important topic in virology and infectious disease diagnosis, the viral markers of hepatitis B virus. Let's take a look. What are viral markers? Viral markers are components of a virus or antibodies produced by the body's immune response against that virus. They are measured in the blood. Some viral markers indicate an active viral infection. And some indicate that the body had that viral infection in the past. Therefore, they are used to diagnose and monitor viral diseases. What are the viral markers of hepatitis B virus? The key viral markers used to diagnose and monitor hepatitis B virus infection include Hepatitis B surface antigen, HBSAG. Hepatitis B E antigen, HBEAG. Antibodies to hepatitis B surface antigen, anti HBS. Antibodies to hepatitis B E antigen, anti HBE. Antibodies to hepatitis B core antigen, anti HBC. Hepatitis B virus DNA, HBV DNA. We will discuss them one by one. Number 1. Hepatitis B surface antigen. HBSAG. HBSAG is the first serologic marker to appear in blood when a person is infected with hepatitis B virus. HBSAG can be detected in the blood from 1 to 9 weeks after exposure to hepatitis B virus. The average time for HBSAG to appear is around 4 weeks after exposure. Therefore, it is used as a primary screening test for hepatitis B infection if a person is suspected to have it. What does this test indicate? It indicates an active hepatitis B infection in the body, which can be acute or chronic. If it is positive for less than six months and then becomes negative, then the hepatitis B was acute. But it remains positive for more than six months, then the hepatitis B has become chronic. Important note. HBSAG can become negative in two cases, when the body has recovered and expelled the virus, or when the body is going through window phase of hepatitis B infection. What is it used for by doctors? This test is used for following purposes. Indicator of infection. HBSAG is a marker for ongoing hepatitis B infection. Infectivity. A positive HBSAG result indicates a person is infectious and can spread the virus through bodily fluids. Used for screening. HBSAG is used as a primary screening test for HBV infection. Not a measure of immunity. HBSAG does not indicate immunity. It indicates an active disease in the body. Recovery. If it becomes negative later in a hepatitis B patient. It indicates recovery from hepatitis B. Except if the virus is not going through window phase. Number 2. Antibodies to hepatitis B surface antigen. Anti-HPS. Anti-HBS, also known as HBSAB. Or hepatitis B surface antibody. Are antibodies produced by the body's immune system in response to the hepatitis B surface antigen? How do hepatitis B surface antibody develop? Anti-HBS antibodies are primarily IgG-type antibodies. They are produced by two ways. They are produced either after an individual has been exposed to hepatitis B virus and their body has successfully cleared the virus, or after a person has been vaccinated against hepatitis B. A positive anti-HBS test result indicates that the person is likely immune to hepatitis B virus and is not at risk of becoming infected. What does it indicate? It indicates immunity from hepatitis B virus infection, either through recovery from natural infection by hepatitis B virus, or by vaccination against hepatitis B virus. Interpretation of hepatitis B surface antigen, HBSAG, and hepatitis B surface antibody, anti-HBS. Active infection. In an ongoing hepatitis B infection, whether acute or chronic, the HBSAG is positive and anti-HBS is negative. Recovery from infection. When the body has recovered from hepatitis B infection, HBSAG is negative and anti-HBS is positive. Vaccinated. When a healthy person with no past history of hepatitis B 
gets vaccinated against hepatitis B. Then HBSAG is negative, and anti-HBS is positive. Number 3. Hepatitis B E antigen, HBEAG. HBEAG is a marker that indicates that the virus is actively replicating in the body. And thus the patient is highly infectious during this stage. He is actively shedding the virus and can transmit it to others. When is hepatitis B E antigen produced in the body? HBEAG is produced by the hepatitis B virus during the replication phase meaning the virus is actively multiplying in the liver and circulating in the blood. What does hepatitis B E antigen indicate? Active viral replication. The presence of hepatitis B E antigen indicates high levels of hepatitis B virus replication in the body. Infectivity. A positive HBEAG result means the person is infectious and can spread the virus to others. The absence of HBEAG generally indicates a less infectious state. Monitoring treatment. Hepatitis B E antigen testing is particularly important in monitoring the effectiveness of treatment against hepatitis B. Number 4. Antibodies to hepatitis B E antigen. Anti HBE. Anti HBE antibodies, also known as hepatitis B E antibodies, are a sign that the hepatitis B virus infection is no longer actively replicating. And the patient is less infectious. The presence of anti HBE indicates the body has developed an immune response to the hepatitis B E antigen, thus, suggesting a favorable outcome for individuals with hepatitis B infection. How does anti HBE develop? Hepatitis B E antibody is primarily IgG type antibody. It is produced by the body's immune system as a response to the hepatitis B E antigen. It's typically generated when the body clears the virus of hepatitis B E antigen, indicating a reduction in viral replication and a transition to a less active phase of infection. This often occurs after an acute infection or during a chronic infection. When the virus is no longer actively replicating, as indicated by the presence of hepatitis B E antibody and the absence of hepatitis B E antigen. What does hepatitis B E antibody indicate? Lower infectivity. When hepatitis B E antigen is cleared and hepatitis B E antibody is present, the individual's infectivity is significantly reduced. Favorable outcome in chronic infection. In individuals with chronic hepatitis B, the appearance of hepatitis B E antibody indicates a transition of virus from a high replication state to a low replication state, which is favorable for patient. Monitoring treatment. Anti HBE levels are also used to monitor the response to treatment in patients with chronic hepatitis B. A positive anti HBE can indicate that antiviral treatment has successfully suppressed the viral replication. Interpretation of hepatitis B E antigen, HBEAG. And hepatitis B E antibody, anti HBE. A positive HBEAG and negative anti HBE indicates active viral replication and high infectivity. While the negative HBEAG and positive anti HBE suggests a transition to an inactive infection state and reduced infectivity. Number 5. Antibodies to hepatitis B core antigen, anti HBC. Antibodies to the hepatitis B core antigen, anti HBC, are produced in response to hepatitis B virus infection. They appear shortly after the onset of symptoms in hepatitis B and persist for life. Just like HBSAG is the first antigen to appear in blood, anti HBC is the first antibody to appear in the blood. They appear within one to two weeks after the detection of HBSAG and persist in body for life. What does hepatitis B core antibody indicate? These antibodies, which can be either IgM or IgG, indicate hepatitis B core antibody IgM. It indicates acute infection. It persists for three months only. Hepatitis B core antibody IgG. It is present in all cases whether acute infection, whether chronic infection. It is also present in a recovered patient. It is the form of anti-HBC that persists in body for life. Important note. 
not produced by vaccination. Hepatitis B core antibody is not produced in response to hepatitis B vaccination. So a vaccinated person has positive hepatitis B surface antibody, but negative hepatitis B core antibody. Number 6. Hepatitis B virus DNA, HBV DNA. Hepatitis B virus DNA is measured using a PCR test on a blood sample. It measures the amount of viral DNA present in the blood. It indicates the level of viral replication and the overall viral load. Thus it is a more sensitive and precise marker of viral replication and infectivity in comparison to HBEAG. HBV DNA testing is not used to diagnose a new hepatitis B infection. Serological testing for markers like HBSAG and anti-HBC is used for initial diagnosis of hepatitis B. Why is it used? Assessing viral replication. High hepatitis B virus DNA levels can indicate active viral replication and increase disease activity. It is more sensitive than HBEAG. So even if HBEAG is negative, if HBV DNA is increased, then that means the virus is actively replicating. So HBV DNA is more important than HBEAG. Treatment monitoring. Hepatitis B virus DNA testing helps track the effectiveness of antiviral medications by measuring changes in viral load over time. To conclude, viral markers of hepatitis B provide a detailed picture of the infection status. Whether it is acute, chronic, resolved, or simply a result of vaccination. Understanding these markers not only helps in diagnosis, but also plays a key role in treatment decisions and public health control strategies. Thank you for your attention.